Hey gamers, what's good? Yes, Sony isn't putting out any new games for Vita themselves, but they are making sure their firmware is up to date. What does the new firmware do? What would affect emulation? How can I run Homebrew on my Vita with 3.67? All this and more on episode 31 of Henchman Gaming. Hey gamers, thank you for watching my videos on the Henchman Gaming channel. I really appreciate the support and feedback. Please hit like and this icon to subscribe. What does the new firmware do? It updates your calendar icon enhances the Twitter dialog and has new Wi-Fi chip firmware which may take care of a Wi-Fi exploit. Will it affect emulation? The answer is no. So if you are on 3.65 and you want to update so you may still access PSN for games and sales, emulation is still working. This information was acquired from hackinformer.com. If you haven't checked out their site, there's some great stuff on there. Thank you Hackinformer for always keeping us up to date. And last, how can I run Homebrew? Well, let's jump into that. First step, install your update to 3.67. Here I am on 3.65. Now, let's update. Second step, download my zip file with the Homebrew menu. I will leave it in the comment section. Okay, you're going to extract it onto your desktop. Okay, go ahead and open it up. And you can open up your homebrew and emulators folder, homebrew directory. I'm just going to go ahead and backspace while it's doing that. As you can see, I already included MAME and Pico Drive, and I think that you guys are going to be very happy with the files that I've included in here. So I'm going to minimize that, and this is the homebrew menu. This is where you can select which emulators that you would like to install on your Vita. So again, I went ahead and picked MAME and Pico Drive. Third step, you will need a PSP demo or PSP mini. Pet Saddle Club demo will work just fine. Or Alien Zombie Death. I use Alien Zombie Death because it is a smaller file, 9 megabytes, and takes up less space on my memory card. Oh, that damn pricey memory card. If not, Pet Saddle Club will do, or Local Roco Demo will work, as long as it's a PSP Demo or PSP Mini. I already own Alien Zombie Death, so I'm going to go ahead and download it now to my Vita. Once it is downloaded and installed on your Vita, open up QCMA on your desktop. Plug in your Vita using your USB to PC. And as you can see, it is connecting to my Vita now. Once it's connected, go to your content manager, copy content, PS Vita to PC, applications, PSP other, and select your demo. In my case, it's Alien Zombie Death. Hit copy. Once it's copy, we're ready to jump back to our PC. If you are new to QCMA or PSV image tools, I left a link below for my other video on how to install both of those programs. You will need both, and I also included the website as well. It shows you how to set up everything. If you run into any problems, try an older version of the PSV image tool, just in case the newer version isn't working out for you. 
all of the software needed including Notepad++, Hex Editor, QCMA, and PCV Image Tool are in the comments section below of this video. Special thanks to Molecule, Silica, and Pina for creating and maintaining these great tools and also to Hack Informer for always keeping us gaming with hacks and tips. Check out their site. Step 4. Open up your PSV. All right, go ahead and click on your backup manager. Unsign and extract. PlayStation Portable. Select your account. And there is Alien Zombie Death, which is my PSP Mini. For you, it's going to be Pets, Saddle Club, or Loco Roco, or whatever PSP demo or mini that you selected. Unsign and extract. And it is complete. Okay, now we can open up our PSV folder. Okay, so from here we're going to go to our extracted. Let's go ahead and move this over. And we'll go ahead and close this for now. So we open up extracted. P game. And there is my alien zombie death. I'm going to go ahead and open up the SCE. Okay, and there is param. This is the file that we're going to be working with. And for that, we're going to need our hex editor. Again, all of this are, is going to be in the link below and including how to install QCMA in these two applications. So let's go ahead and drag and drop. This is the game ID. I'm just going to click right here right in front of the 9 and I'm going to change that to a 7. You can change that to whatever number you want as long as it's different from the original game ID. So you remember that 7. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and yes. Now we can close this. Let's go ahead and delete that backup. And backspace. Open up game. Open up this folder. And you're going to right click on your Vita path and edit with Note. Backspace. And remember, I changed that to a 7. Going to hit save. All right, now I can add my emulators. Remember that folder that we downloaded earlier? So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Open up the MAME. Highlight and copy. Close that and paste. All right, so now we backspace. And don't forget, we need to change the folder name to seven to match our new game ID. Okay guys, so remember I used the seven because that was what's available. For you, it could be 6.1 or 6.2, uh, just as long as you change that number and the file doesn't already exist. Just change the last number there. So I'm going to go ahead and close this, open up my image tool again. I'm going to go ahead and select my backup manager, sign in pack, PlayStation Portable, and there is my 6.7. This is the file I was just working on. See, I changed that last number. Sign in pack, select your user account. So the process for this is going to be the exact same for the Pico drive, which I included in the Hinchman folder, which is the Sega emulation. And it is complete. So now I'm going to go ahead and close off all of this. And let's go ahead and refresh QCMA. Okay, let's jump to the Vita. Step five, open up our content manager, copy content. We're gonna select our PC to PS Vita this time. Applications, PSP other, and select your demo. In this case, it's Alien Zombie Death. Copy. 
Okay, so we are now on 3.67. Okay, once that's done, we can go ahead and we'll close this off. And there's our MAME bubble. Let's open it up and see what happens. Okay, so MAME does take about a minute or so to load its ROMs. So I went ahead and sped this part up, but just go ahead and be patient and it will load the ROMs. Okay guys, so just to uh, double check in uh, settings, I'm gonna open that up. And we go to system update. It shows that we are on the latest version of firmware. So we are good to go. So for now, 3.67 has not blocked anything vital on the Vita. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know some of this is covered in my other video, but I really wanted just to follow up with 3.67. Drop me a comment below. Let me know how your emulation is working or if you have any questions. Please hit like and subscribe. Thank you for your support and for watching our videos. Happy gaming.